My name's Ian Sharman. I run New Holbeck Farm at Halem near Newark Knotts. We're a 400 cow herd. We've been here since the 1940s and basically we produce about 9,500 litres. We're on a Stilton cheese contract. And when did you start using the Trey Shaw CUI bolus? We were having a hell of a lot of trouble with retained cleansings and general calving cow health. And so we were put onto the boluses by a vet called Cook from Genus and we've been using them ever since. How did you know that there was a problem with a deficiency of trace elements? We'd been doing blood tests with Edinburgh, uh, which has shown slight deficiencies, but nothing major. So really it was just past history of the farm, heifers carving with sort of iodine and selenium deficiencies, and so we thought well, the bolus gave us the best way of putting extra in there, slow release, and giving the fresh calf cow some cover as well. What improvements did you notice to the herd after you started using the boluses? Well, we've had far less retained cleansing. Cows have come into milk a lot quicker, carved better, carved on their own a lot better, cleansed a lot better. And it, really our peak yields have come up. We're up sort of five, six litres on peak yield and faster. Our fertility's slightly better, although it wasn't particularly bad in the first place, but our fertility's got slightly better. We're getting a lot more positive PDs. Uh, we use RMS, which is a genus uh, insemination service, and it's far easier for them to see the heats because the cows are bulling stronger and longer because they come for two hours a day serving the cows and, and doing heat detection. And no, Basically, on the whole, our, our fresh calf cows are a lot healthier. That's the main benefit of the bolus. We've changed one or two little bits, but that's the main change that we've made. So I would suggest that they've had a, a major benefit because it was the cow at calving that was, was the problem. She got hit at calving every time with something, whereas now they're hitting the ground running and, and away they go. Tell me about the diet of the herd. Uh, it's mainly a maize, whole crop, a little bit of haylage and straw with a proprietary blend. Basically, they're all fed one diet. All the dryers are fed one diet and all the milkers are fed one diet. Are the young stock bolused? The heifers are bolused about a month before they're AI'd and the young stock are bolused before we turn them out. We only give them one. And when do you bolus the cows? The cows are all bolused at drying off. And do you notice any difference to the calves when they're born since you started using the bolus? The cows calve quicker and easier, which I think has a, an added bonus to the calves because the calves are a lot thriftier but we have changed other things with the calves because we now run a pasteuriser and pasteurise the colostrum and pasteurise the cow's milk before we feed them, so there have been other changes as well. Will you continue to use Trace Shaw? We've been using them for over a year now. We keep ordering hundreds of times. So. You're pleased with the results? Very, yes. Very. The main reason we, we carry on using it as much as anything else is the fact that we have almost eliminated calving problems with the Holstein. That's a huge benefit to the herd. It's a huge benefit to my wallet. <laughs>